President Lyndon Johnson signed the Medicare and Medicaid programs into law on July 30, 1965. Medicare is the federal health insurance program for people who are 65 and older and for people with disabilities. Here's how it's funded. During your career, all of your wages are taxed at 1.45% through FICA. Your employer matches this contribution, giving you a total of 2.9% of your wages contributed for your future Medicare needs. The funding goes into two trust fund accounts held by the U.S. Treasury, the HI and SMI trust funds. The Medicare program is administered in four parts, A, B, C, and D. Let's start with Part A. Part A is the only benefit that people get automatically at no cost when they reach the age of 65, which is hospitalization, hospice, nursing home, and some health services. Once you pay the annual deductible, you are covered 100%. Part A is paid for through the HI Trust Fund. Part B is coverage for your doctor visits, tests, and other everyday healthcare services. You can choose to enroll for Part B coverage and apply at your local Social Security office, but you'll have to pay for it through premiums, deductibles, and co-pays. Part B is paid for by the SMI Trust Fund, which is partially authorized by Congress, but also from the premiums of people enrolled in the program. Most choose to enroll in this option, as having Part A and Part B qualifies you to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, or Part C. Part C plans provide all of Part A and Part B coverage. However, beneficiaries are given the option to receive their Medicare benefits through private health insurance plans by paying a monthly premium and annual deductible. Part D is the newest addition to the Medicare family as of 2006. If you're eligible for Part A and or enrolled in Part B, you can get Part D prescription drug benefits that help pay for some or all of your drug costs. The Part C Medicare Advantage plans also often include these benefits. So, what if you're unable to pay these premiums or deductibles? That's where Medicaid comes in. Medicaid is a government insurance program for people of all ages whose income and resources are insufficient to pay for health care. Funding is jointly provided by the federal government and states, which supply up to half of the funding for Medicaid. The federal government pays states for a specified percentage of expenditures called FMAP, FMAP varies by state based on criteria such as per capita income. While it's true that some doctors don't accept Medicare, the percentage of doctors accepting new patients in the program has increased in recent years. In the future, Medicare does face some financial challenges because of rising healthcare costs, increasing enrollment as the population ages, and a decreasing ratio of workers to enrollees. Some of the proposed solutions include increasing costs to enrollees through higher premiums, deductibles, and co-pays, raising FICA taxes, limiting payments to health care providers, reducing administrative costs, investigating fraud, or even negotiating pricing more aggressively with pharmaceutical and medical device manufacturers. While Medicare's administration and funding is a complex issue, it's a critical program for the health of our country. Currently, there are about 50 million citizens enrolled in the program, and it's the sole form of health insurance for the vast majority of seniors in this country.